Hi, in this video we're going to show you another way to configure your Windows 11 computer with a local account instead of a Microsoft account when you're installing Windows. So apparently Microsoft is trying to crack down on people using local accounts with their computer and are trying to force everybody to use a Microsoft account when doing so. So there are several ways that you could actually do this, but this is a newer, it's not new, but it's a newer way to kind of get around the Microsoft account requirement when installing Windows. So some people are saying the OOBE slash bypass NRO command is not going to be working for much longer, so this is another method you could try. All right, so I've gone through the typical Windows installation, and I stopped here at this point when you start getting into the graphical configuration. All right, so we're just going to continue from here, choose our country, choose our keyboard, and then we get to the part here where it asks to add a second keyboard. You want to kind of click over here above the keyboard graphic. And then press Control Shift J on your keyboard. Hold it down, you know, Control, hold down Shift, hold down J. And you'll get this little command prompt here. All right, so for this next step, you have to type this exactly with the capital letters and everything. So I'll have this in the description so you can uh, make sure you have it right here. So I'm going to. Type this in real quick, and if you mess up, you're going to have to start over. So keep that in mind. So make sure you type it correctly. All right, so we have winjs.application.restart, and then brackets here with quotes, ms-cxh, colon, slash, slash, local only, and quotes, and then end the brackets. So once you're sure you have this correct, press Enter. Okay, and then you could uh, press escape on your keyboard, and if that doesn't work, just kind of click with your mouse until you could get off the screen here. There we go. It might take a couple clicks. So now you could set up your local account. So I'm just going to make this Bob, and then you could put a password if you want. If you don't want a password, you could just leave this blank. I'm going to leave it blank for the sake of time here. We'll click on next. All right, so now you can see we're going right into the new user profile settings here. So this is typical whether you're installing with a Microsoft account or a local account because it has to set up the user profile. So this usually takes a couple minutes, so we'll be back when this is done. Okay, so now you're going to get to these typical privacy settings and all this other good stuff, so you could do whatever you want here. I like just to say no to everything because Microsoft doesn't need to know what they don't need to know. All right, so now we have a Windows desktop here with the local Bob user ready to go. And then, of course, you could add another uh, local user. You could add a Microsoft account later on and that type of thing. All right, so as you can see, it's not that difficult to do. So hopefully this will stay working so we could continue to install Windows with a local account and not a Microsoft account. All right, so like I said, I'll put that command in the description, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.